creators welcome back to another video today we're going to be making a project for the creators blog hop now i have a few things to note here if you're a current stampin up demonstrator you will notice that the catalog i have open in this clip is definitely not the current catalog or the new catalog this catalog is a few years old and that's because i filmed this video a few years ago I have recently been working on some other projects, and so my Stampin' Up! business and channel kind of was put onto the back burner. I absolutely love creating content here, and I love making projects, so I really wanted to share this one that I did a few years ago so that I could share this with you. Now, that being said, this stamp set and punch are still available in this catalog. So I wanted to make sure that I brought it out and shared it with you because it really is a super cute set and I absolutely adore using it. So in today's video, I am making a bunch of thank you cards that I used as little thank yous in my customers orders and I wanted to kind of share the entire time lapse with you so that you could kind of see the entire process that I went through. I am using this video as part of my creator's blog hop. We are doing a free for all this month and I'm breaking a few of my own rules. I make sure that the only thing we post is current products or available products and some of the products I'm using are definitely not available anymore. The designer series paper that came out when this bundle originally was put out is no longer available. But like I said, there are several products that are still current, especially this whale set, the stamps and the punch, which are really the star of the show. So I went ahead and I broke those rules because I am getting my project done at 9 p.m. the night before the hop um, because I thrive on procrastination. And if you're the same, let me know that I'm not alone down in the comments. On this video, I'm making several cards at one time and kind of my strategy for this, I was casing that current catalog when I filmed this video and I didn't have exact measurements. So I pretty much just guessed on the whole thing. I like to kind of take my own interpretation of the projects in the catalog when I am casing something and I'll just take a look at it and see if I like that paper or if I want to switch out the paper, um, guess on the size, if I want to resize the card, I'll do that sometimes as well. And so I'll just use approximations when I am cutting my materials. Now again, you cannot no longer get that designer series paper that I'm cutting up in this video, but you can definitely substitute or create your own. The stamps that are included in the Whale Done set have a lot of different texture stamps with the different corals and kelp, and then there's also a few bubbles, there's the little fishies and the other uh, sea creatures that are in there. So you could definitely get creative using watercolor techniques and um, other different texturing um, elements such as the embossing folders and even just using your bone folder or a stylus to draw waves across a piece of cardstock would give it some texture also. So I'm just taking these designer series paper pieces and putting them on the outside and then putting a small strip on the inside just to kind of give it a little peekaboo effect and it's always so hard for me when I'm using designer series paper to put adhesive on one side because it's just so pretty but again if we don't use it then what's the point right so now I'm just trying to figure out how I want to put all of these elements on and of course I'm using dimensionals to pop up those little banner pieces. And then I have some ribbon that I'm putting through the top hole of that piece. I really like creating as many cards as I can at the same time with the same elements. Even if I don't have a plan for them necessarily, I just really enjoy the process of 
making them all at the same time, doing that assembly line style work. Now, granted, I don't always love that, but in this instance, when I was making this card, I really did enjoy just having some craft time. Being crafty and just doing something on repeat, listening to some music or an audiobook while I go, it was just really peaceful and I enjoyed it so, so much. And it's something that I've missed a lot while I've been away, but I am trying really, really hard to get it back into my normal routine and I'm... I'm working on it. I might be struggling with all of the tasks I have today, but I'm really trying to get more crafting back into my life. So if you are the same and you want to get more crafty, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you are curious about what I am doing on the other half of my life, go ahead and head down to the description box below. I have linked my other channel and website if you're interested in taking a look to see what I am currently doing now. You're more than welcome to head over there. I really hope that you enjoyed this chit chat time lapse style video. Make sure you head to my blog so that you can hop along with all of the other demonstrators that have posted some fantastic projects for this month. I will see you on the next video. Bye.